Turning from a wedge and fork mount like this to an EQ mount seems like a great idea. The only problem is that in order to mount on the German Equatorial mount, you need a dovetail bar. You can get a C8 new with a dovetail bar, but getting one aftermarket that fits perfectly is a bit of a problem. So, being the budget astronomer, I decided to make one myself. This is my trusty South Bend 10K lathe, circa 1952. As you can see by the chips, it's been getting a lot of use lately. We have in the milling holder a two-foot bar of aluminum that I'm going to attempt to turn into a dovetail for my telescope. Since the jaws on the milling holder have a maximum opening of one and a half inches and the bar is two and a half inches wide, I had to trim it down a little bit in order to, uh, to get it to fit into the, um, the milling attachment. Okay, now I have the other side of the bar and I'm going to use a standard fly cutter to try to bring this down to the inch and a half so that it will fit within the vertical milling attachment. So it really had no trouble taking off about an eighth of an inch. Six or seven more passes and I'll have it down uh, a full inch so I can get it back in the, uh, the milling attachment. I'm going to be cutting uh, an inside curved radius gouged out of the bar so that it fits the radius of the telescope. In order to do that, I have a, a tool holder here mounted in the four jaw chuck that I'm going to use essentially as a fly cutter to, uh, to gouge out the bar. So this worked quite well. As you can see, we've cut out a nice curve. And it only took a few passes, the last one being really, really slow, to get a nice smooth finish. As you can see here, in order to get the leading edge of that, I had to get the whole apparatus in pretty close to the milling attachment. So at this point now, we have the curves gouged out of the bar at both ends, and that will form the radius of curvature of the outside of the scope, and the, uh, the mount holes will be there. So now what we have to do is to remove the excess material here to take it down below that level, and then we have to, uh, to bevel the edges to make it into a dovetail. What I've done to try to get the, the bevel for the dovetail is I've, I've put a wedge in the jaws of the milling attachment so that the piece is being held at uh, a 15 degree tilt from horizontal and then I'm using a fly cutter to, uh, to take the bevel off the sides. It gives me a nice clean straight line.
this arrangement I think is called Necessity is the Mother of Invention. I couldn't get the angle correct after I'd cut one side of the dovetail, so I stuck a vise in the milling attachment and tilted the whole thing back. Okay, so now we have a dovetail bar with two sides beveled 15 degrees from the vertical and we have the two radius cuts. So now we just need to uh, flush this part down a little bit and drill the holes for the mounting screws. Once that's done, then we can cut these end pieces off and file the whole thing down and make it pretty. Over here you can see just how far down we've gone. We've gone down about a quarter of an inch. Um, because I had to bolt this bar onto just a piece of channel to fit into the, uh, the milling attachment, it's not super steady so the cuts had to be fairly light. Just tiny, tiny cuts. Really what I've done is milling with the drill bit to create a slot for the, uh, the mounting screws for the telescope. Here is the finished product. What the product is, it fits beautifully. Here's the end result, gem mounted C8.